Okay, well, welcome everyone to our September virtual meeting. Um, so we have decided to do these meetings once a month, and this is, I think, our second one. So nothing's perfect yet, but we're getting there. Um, for anyone that doesn't know me, my name is Claudia, and I'm your advanced director. I've been with Cambridge Chef for five years, and I've moved my business twice. So a lot of us are military, and we're very familiar with moving our businesses. So if you are in that um, stage of your business or going it's going to happen soon definitely let us know um, so what I wanted to do first is um, introduce our new consultants that are on this call um, I know we have I think two or three on this call today so if you can just maybe introduce yourself and I'll call up your name and tell us why you decided to join Pamper Chef and maybe what your goals are and what your dreams are that you want to achieve with Pamper Chef. So um, we have Tracy here. Tracy, if you can unmute yourself and maybe just kind of introduce yourself. Okay. I'm Tracy Underwood. Um, I'm a stay-at-home mom of three and also a military spouse. It seems like many of you are. So um, the Pamper Chef is perfect for me. It's something I believe in. There's a lot of things that maybe I don't believe in, but this I really do. So I said, you know, we'll take the plunge and try out something new. So, um, you know, my husband doesn't believe in it, but we're going to make him believers. <laughs> I'm a believer. We are. We've all been there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Until the um, first paycheck comes. Yeah. Uh my goals are just to, you know, spread the word and get as many shows and people involved as I can. You know, it's, as I've been booking shows and virtual parties, it's so many people who don't know what Pampered Chef is. And I think that's a disservice to them, definitely. Because it's such a good, a good company, such great products. So that's kind of where I'm at right now. Awesome. Thank you for sharing. We're excited to have you. You too. Um, and then we have Lauren. We can't see Lauren, but Lauren, can you introduce yourself? Hi. Uh, sorry, I'm not sure why my video is not working because I have a webcam. Um, but I, I just recently joined the Pamper Chef again. I was a consultant, what, four years ago? Um, and I joined because I absolutely love the products, and I really believe in all the products. Just uh, yesterday, I had a little housewarming party because we moved into a new home, and I was sort of demoing, I guess, as I was cooking for my sister-in-law, and I think I have her sold on a lot of these products now. Um, so I love all the products, so that's why I joined, and my goal is I work 40 hours a week at a job that I hate, and I would love to make this something that is uh, permanent and something I can do all the time and leave that job. Okay, awesome. And Lauren actually was one of my very new first consultants um, four years ago, so she came back. You never know when it's the right fit for people. Um, okay, and then we have um, Brenna on the call that just joined as well um, on Troy's team. So Brenna, can you introduce yourself? Hi, my name is Brenna Bennett. Uh, I live in uh, uh, Seoul, Korea, and um, I joined because um, my husband and I were looking for options of how to be debt-free um, without me taking some kind of full-time job that didn't pay very much because I'm an interior designer and they don't exactly need those here um, on base. and. Uh, um, we wanted something where I wouldn't have to put my son in daycare and basically just work to pay for his daycare. And um, I met Troy, and I did a lot of market research on at-home businesses, and Pampered Chef was the one that was actually making money. It was the one that was beneficial for everyone around. It met a need, so people want it, and it, it is good to its consultants. So I um, talked to her a lot. And um, really, when I showed my husband, look, if nothing else, if we buy the um, kit, we get all this really great cookware we always wanted. <laughs> so he was sold on that. Um, so that's, that's why we joined. We, looked, we were looking for some financial solutions and wanted something I would feel good about spreading to my friends instead of just hawking another product. 
Awesome. So how did you meet Troy or what did Troy do that sparked your interest? Well, I met Troy through church last spring, um, but I didn't, um, didn't really get into Pampered Chef because I'd never bought it before, wasn't familiar with it. I figured, hey, it's, you can just buy the same things at the PX, um, and I was wrong. <laughs> Stuff at the PX rusts and doesn't work out necessarily for you. Um, but uh, I saw her when I came back. Um, or when I, when I left, I really started looking into the freezer meals because I'm going to have a baby in January. And I figured that would be an easy way to make sure we had food. And I talked to her a lot over the summer and started learning more and more about Pampered Chef and um, really decided it, you know, it sounded like a good company and good products. Awesome. Thank you for sharing. You're um, okay. So Troy joined us. Hi, Troy. Hi. Hi. Um, so we, we were just introducing the new consultants. Um, and then I would like to um, recognize anyone that earned this little, I can't even see myself. Where am I? Here we go. This little help with cancer spatula last month. So if you earned this, if you can just maybe raise your hand. I know we can't see Lauren, um, Charlie did, and Lori did. So congratulations on earning our monthly incentive with Pamper Chef. They, we always get free gifts, and we'll talk about what we're earning this month later on as well. Um, and I also want to recognize anyone that went out there or um, – collected orders and put their apron on and got paid, okay? So congratulations to all of you for getting a payday and getting some money. Um, so, you know, everyone's important, no matter how much or how little you do, it's your business. And I always like to say, whatever makes you happy, makes us happy for you as well. Um, and then Charlie is going to do some recognition and talk about our bizarre bullet train incentives as well. So Charlie, are you ready? I am. And I'm on my phone this evening because our computer, we just moved and our, our, our power cable from our computer is lost. And so I'm on my phone. And so excuse me if you can't see me for a minute because I had to pull up my file. So okay. I'm going to go incentives for a minute. And so who loves swag? Anybody? Woo! Everybody loves swag, right? <laughs> loves Charlie swag. loves swag. <laughs> yeah, Troy. I just love prizes. <laughs> And so I love to send it out to you. I have it at my house. I'd love to give it to you. So I'm going to go over a little quick um, how you can earn it and who's earned it, okay? So I'll be right back. So we have, everyone can still hear me, right? Yes. Okay. So we have um, bullet train dollars can be redeemed for different swags. And our swags um, average from a dollar to up to $25. You get $1 for earning the monthly home office incentive, which many did this month. It was $600 in sales, pretty easy. And you get $1 for every $12.50 in sales, which we had to, Troy, who had $18.47 last month. Woohoo! And we had Melissa, who had $13.20. Woohoo! Uh, is Melissa on his tonight? No, she's local, so we'll see her on Wednesday. Yeah, okay. And then you get two bullet train dollars for every recruit, which we had Liz, Brianne, how to recruit this month. Liz, we, Brianne, and Troy. Yeah, sorry, we couldn't hear the last word. Liz, Brianne, and Troy all had recruits this month. And you get $1 for every $1,000, which we didn't quite hit this month because August, you know, it's kind of crazy. But September is Thunder Month, right? I mean, I think I'm almost positive we're going to have a $1,000 show in September. I just know we are. And we have $5 consistency bonus. That means that you sell $12.50 or one recruit three months in a row. And that's another way you can, you can earn some swag, which is $5, bullet train dollars. And $1 for bringing a potential recruit to a meeting. So if you have a friend that you think, hey, I just joined Pampered Chef. I know you would love it too. Bring them to our next our virtual meeting. And you know what? Just for doing that, just for showing them the opportunity, you're going to get $1, okay? $1 in swag bucks. And you're going to get $5 gift card to Starbucks, Target, whatever, for setting up a three-way call meeting with your director and your potential recruit, which Terry and Troy did this month. You're going to get a $5 gift card just for doing that. Good job, guys. And let me just say they both did it, and they both signed their recruits right after. So it's Not definitely going to benefit you. <laughs>
And the top three sellers were, are you ready? Drum roll. And we had Troy at 1847 last month. Yay! We had Melissa at 1320. Yay! We had Michelle at 1168. And Rebecca at 1056. Yay! And our top recruiter of the bullet team, a bullet train team was, anybody know? It was mm -hmm. Troy Newcomb with two. Yay. Go Troy. Go Troy. Troy's on fire. Troy is doing it. And tell us what your goal is this month. What's your, what's your goal for September? Troy, unmute yourself. Sorry about that. Sorry, I had a, a silent toddler who got into something he shouldn't have. So, Troy, what's your goal? I'm sorry, I, I missed the end of that. What, my goal for September? Yes! Oh! Um, <laughs> um, you know, I didn't write down a dollar goal. I, my, my, I would like to be doing 3,000 in sales. That's No, no, Troy, what is your what? promotion goal? What's your oh, goal? director! I want, to, I want to promote. I want to promote. Yes. Sorry. That's what Troy is going for this month. I'm going to get a big Troy, a big round of applause. Woo! Yay! We're cheering you on. Um, and we had also, um, I see Amy has joined us. And Amy just joined today Amy. or yesterday, right? So, Amy, if you can unmute yourself and maybe just introduce yourself real quick and tell us um, what sparked your interest in Pamper Chaff. Okay. Hi, I'm Amy. <laughs> um, so for me, I think the biggest thing was I lost my job of 10 years back in April and I'm bored out of my mind and I need something to do. And Troy um, is a good salesperson basically because I've been anti-direct sales forever. <laughs> but she um, showed me a different side of it um, and basically sold me on the freezer meal side of things um i've done those for like five years just for my family because we've been so busy with stuff and so um anyways that's that's what she pitched and so i think that's what piqued my interest in this more than than other things so awesome and where are you guys stationed? <laughs> where do you live um my husband's stationed at fort hood so we're in clean texas okay all right. We were just, I was just telling the other girls, I think we have like four or five people in Texas, but Texas is so big that none of y'all are close. So I'll, I'll have to double check all that. <laughs> but yeah. awesome. Thank you. It's nice to meet you and welcome. Nice, nice to meet you. you. I'm Charlie Wild, so I'm Troy's director. So Hi. I think I sent you an email today. So yes. Nice to meet you. And it's funny that you joined because of freezer meals. Uh, she came to my freezer meal workshop, and that's why she joined Pamford Chef. <laughs> And so that's pretty cool. So welcome. Thanks. Awesome, guys. Um, so again, um, the Bazaar Bullet Train, train um, dollar incentives are posted on our group in the pin post. And there's pictures of our swag as well. And you can collect swag or you can use it right away for smaller things. And the swag is actually going in the mail on Tuesday. So expect that in the mail um, and local team members get it at the local team meeting. So... Um, the training part for this meeting will be about our show, our cooking show. So, you know, there's a lot of different things out there right now, virtual shows, Facebook shows, catalog parties, um, all these other shows. But I do strongly believe that the key to a successful business are our in-home cooking shows. That's where you'll meet most of your, you know, recruits and your, your new hosts, um, just because you're right there in front of them. Um, because we have a lot of new consultants, I wanted to take this time and go over um, my show outline, the way I do it, the way I was trained on by Donna Laney, and I really honestly haven't changed it too much in five years. Um, so I posted the link to these cards, um, and I used to call them my cheat cards right here. And what I did is I, had, I printed them out front to back, and Lauren, who's who's been a, you know, who came on four years ago, probably knows this, so it's still the same. Um, and then I 
laminated them and put a little ring on it. So when I took them to my shelves, I could still easily hold them. And if they got dirty or something, I could just wipe them clean. And I would tell people like, look, I'm a new consultant. These are my cheat cards. This is what I'm going to look at. It makes our job look easy and it makes you feel less nervous because you don't have to know everything. Um, it keeps your customers on track. They know how your show is running. It keeps you on track. So you're not constantly like, oh, I forgot to tell them about the sales. And oh, I didn't mention, mention this. So this kind of keeps you on track. You don't have to do exactly like this, but the basic concept is to have a strong show opening, your cooking demo, station style, or interactive, whatever you choose, and then a show closing. So if you haven't printed out, feel free to read right along. I'm just going to kind of um, walk you through through some of these steps and give you some tips and ideas on what I do. And then, um, like I said, you know, sometimes we have to see or hear different people's show styles and kind of make our own. And I definitely encourage you to make your own, but maybe use this as your basic outline to get you started. And then um, if you see other ideas, maybe incorporate one idea a month and try out something new. There's no way for you to see 10 different shows and to be perfect, you know, to, to have the perfect show. I still don't have perfect shows. I forget knives, I forget cutting boards, but you know what? At the end, it's still like my basic 10 step show outline. So the first card basically says, greet guests at the door, give them a ticket, invite everyone to wash their hands and cook with you. Um, I always say show up at least 30 minutes prior, have your stuff all set up. So when people come in, you can even open the door. You don't even, don't put your apron on. Um, just talk to them and be like a guest. People are going to book and join your team because of you. So don't hide in the kitchen because you're scared to talk to these people. Be set up, ready to go, and then start mingling with them and give them a ticket for coming. And um, then depending on, you know, if you do interactive show or the station style show, you're going to be in a kitchen um, or in front of a dining room table. And um, what you want to do is a big show introduction. So this is where you thank your host and you thank your guests for coming. Um, and you set their expectations. So I always like to say, you know, um, thank you every, everyone for coming and thank you, Charlie, for hosting. I really appreciate the great job you've done. Um, and then I have them share like how easy was it to host this party? And most of them, they're like, oh, it was easy. I just had this list of ingredients and that's all I did to pick it up. Um, and then I kind of tell them the plan for tonight, what we're making. So, you know, barbecue chicken sliders, fajita pizzas, or I also like to tell them what theme we're doing tonight. That way they know um, this is the Taste of Italy theme or this is the Mexican Fiesta theme. And I kind of like to throw in our theme parties as well. So before the show even starts, they start thinking about what theme show they want to have. And then I'm telling them um, just real quick about hosting and joining our team. So I like to tell them that, you know, um, if you haven't been to a party in a while or you've never been to a party, you're probably going to see lots of products tonight that you want. And as your wish list, wish list keeps getting bigger and bigger, you might want to consider having your own party just like Charlie did tonight and getting a free shopping spree and um, a discount on all the products. And then I always like to say, um, I know you didn't walk in the door tonight thinking, hey, I want to be a paper chef consultant, but just watch what I do tonight. And if you think that this could be a fun, easy way for you to earn some extra income, um, or maybe pay off some debt, or maybe replace a full-time income, then we can definitely talk about this later um, at the end of the show. So just little hints, but kind of set the expectation of how the show is going to run. And then number four is called the um, interactive cooking demo. And like I said, there's two different ways to doing a cooking show, basically. As a new consultant, I highly suggest doing the station style show, click on the new, new consultant recipes, pick one recipe that you're going to do for your first four to six shows so you can keep practicing it. And um, do station style, or if you feel more comfortable, I like to call it an interactive show. It's basically we all come around the table, around the kitchen island, and um, I pass around the bowl with the tools that we're going to be using. They each grab a tool, and then um, when it's time for the tool to be used, they step up. So I like to be like, okay, who's got the garlic press? All right, Troy, you got the garlic press. Come on up here and show us how to use it. And then during those Doing this cooking show um, or station style show, I always like to say things like, who has this product? What do you use it for? 
um, or what do you like about it? So I like them to kind of sell to each other versus me being like, okay, this is the food chopper and this is what it does because the basic products, someone always has them, right? Um, also, if you kind of start looking at those people differently when you have that person that has everything and maybe super outgoing, you're like, okay, that person needs to join my team, right? So like the Pamper Chefaholics, those are the people you want on your team and you want them selling to each other because they're gonna believe their friend more than they believe me if I tell them they need this baker or they need this rock car. So those are just some things that you can tell people during the cooking show and it makes it easier on you so you don't feel like you have to know every single product. And then what I do is, um, most of the time, depending on the recipe, um, I tell them like, okay, you know, the recipe is now done. So let it kind of like blend its flavor. Like if it's a bruschetta pasta, or barbecue sliders, I'm like, okay, let's let this kind of blend. Um, and what I want you guys to do is I want you to have a seat in the living room or wherever they're sitting and grab a catalog and find your favorite product. And I'll give them about five minutes to kind of fill up the drinks and go have a seat. So this is what number five says is um, show review. And this is where at my shows, at you know, my first couple shows, I would like, it would give me five minutes to just go quickly over my steps in my head and be like, okay, this is what comes next. Okay, okay. And it would just make me feel more comfortable. Um, and then number six goes over, you, you have them sit down and you go over the three ways to get our products. Okay, which is they can spend money, they can save money, or they can make money. So the way, what helps me to go over these three steps is my um, booking binder, I guess, or my theme show binder, because everything's organized and I know exactly what I'm gonna talk about. So um, this right here has the guest special. So I tell them about the specials for tonight. I tell them about the stone rush special. Um, I tell them about every, anything else that's on sale. I also have a $100 basket, which for every $100 they spend, they get a pick out of my baskets. It's got just little things in it, like Seasons Best, Citrus Peeler, um, Twix Eclipse, like little things. Or sometimes I go on the outlet and order some stuff from there. So that kind of helps you increase show sales as well. But don't worry about that as a new consultant. As you get your stock bigger and earn PC dollars, you can use your PC dollars for some of that. Um, and then the next thing is, um, how to save money by having your own cooking show. So I go over um, the benefits of hosting a show, and then I always, you know, like to ask who who's who in here has their PhD, their past host discount, who's hosted a show before, what was your favorite part about it, and most of it is, you know, fun, food, or free product. So I like to tell them, you know, you get a free shopping spree, you get prices um, items for half price. So if you were looking at that grill pan or the rock rock or maybe the knives tonight you need you need to have a print and get them for half price too there's no reason for someone to pay full price for that um, and then I tell them I like to tell them that they get a discount on the whole catalog which not a lot of other companies do so after they shop with their free money after they shop with their half price item um, they also get a discount on the whole catalog and then they get 10% off for a whole year so just make sure you familiarize yourself with those host benefits and then I like to tell them about um, the third way to get our products, which is, you know, uh, to become a consultant. So at that point, I tell them a little bit about myself, um, how long I've been with Paper Chaff, why I started, um, just a quick, come up with a quick little story about yourself and why you decided to join Paper Chaff. And um, after that is game time, okay? So you're gonna have to play some kind of game. Might it be a ticket game? Might it be an envelope game? Might it be a Stealing Hearts game? Um, and we can go over details of these games, you know, um, maybe at another meeting as well. Or if you have a kickoff show scheduled and you need help with that, definitely let us know. The basic game is the ticket game, so just get a roll of tickets. And what you're gonna do is, okay, I have this price right here that I you know, would like to give away. And the way you're gonna earn tickets for this drawing is you get one ticket if you ask me any question about hosting your own show, a cooking show, a bridal registry, a fundraiser, a Facebook show, um, or free demo workshop. And you get two tickets if you ask me any question about the business. And I like to throw in some sample questions like, okay, how much money do you make? Or how often do you work? Or um, what's your favorite product? So that way they're like, if 
you know, if they might not want to ask questions or they're shy, they kind of have some, I allowed them to ask me how much money I make and that's what I want them to ask. And um, if you are not comfortable with that, definitely get together with me um, or your director so we can kind of help you answer the basic questions that always get asked at every show. And the reason you're doing this game is because people will ask just for tickets. They might not be interested, but the next person next to them that might be interested but scared to ask is all of a sudden like, oh, they do get money. Oh, they get trips and just kind of spikes their interest a little bit more. The next step goes over um, the customer care slip. So that's the drawing slip that comes in everyone's kit. Um, I should have picked one up, but it's like a little block of paper and it says drawing slip, I think, or customer care slip. And um, I do another drawing for that. So I hand those out and I tell them that that's, um, that's how no, to fill that out because that's how I know how to serve them. So if they write down, you know, the email, I can send them recipes um, and I kind of walk them through it. So I'm like, okay, the, you know, if you're interested in fundraising, if you have um, Boy Scout, Girl Scout, or any other, um, can't think of the Marina, any other charity that, you know, needs to raise funds, definitely um, click on or, cross off the fundraiser so I can give you some more information about that. If you're interested in having a party, why wouldn't you, right? We come, we clean, and we cook. Click yes to have your own theme party. Um, and then if you're interested about the business, if you just want some more information, definitely click yes, and I can give you some more information tonight. The reason you're doing these is, is so when people leave without ordering because they have to run out the door or they tell you, you know, I'm going to take the catalog home and look through it with my husband, you have those people's information and you can follow up with them. And you can also tell the host exactly who ordered tonight, who didn't, so she knows who to contact again to get their orders. And then the last part is just a wrap up. And what you're gonna do is you're basically gonna tell them um, how you're going to check them out and where. So I highly suggest always find, no matter if it's a kid's room or some kind of corner where you just have two chairs where you can check them out one by one. Um, and so I tell them, okay, I'm going to set up my full service checkouts over here. You can stack your order forms right here and I'll take from the bottom. And if you're in a hurry, just let me know and I'll check you out right away. And the last and probably one of the most important steps of your whole show is the full service checkout, which will be the big page that you printed out. This is where you are going to sign your recruit leads or you know schedule coffee dates with your recruit leads. This is where you're going to book your shows. This is where you're going to get your fundraisers. This is where you're going to get your referrals. If you do none of the other steps, this is the step you need. So the first one, um, you know, I always just like to like, like, oh, did you have fun? Or like sometimes you have those people that are just super fun or love paper chaff. Um, so just kind of find something, some common ground if you remember anything about them during the show or just say, you know, did you have fun? Um, what was your favorite product? And then you just, I kind of look over their, their list too to see if, if I can cross sell anything to them as well. But then I always like to say, you know, what sparked your interest in Pamper Chef? Was there anything that inspired you about the Pamper Chef business opportunity? Or um, if they're really fun and I just want them on my team, I'd be like, have you ever thought about doing Pamper Chef? Because you would be awesome at this. And if they say no, then that's fine. You move on to the next one, which is have you ever thought about or are you interested in having your own show? Or um, Again, if they are very like just a fun outgoing person, I'm like, oh my god, you need to have a wine, cheese, and chocolate party. Or you, you ladies are so much fun. I'm sure you have a group of friends at home that would love a Mexican fiesta. So sometimes it's about how we ask for parties. So I never like to say, would you like to have a party? Because that just kind of sounds boring, right? But um, definitely throw in some theme shows and try and relate it to them personally. And then it goes over, you know, do you know anyone about, you know, do you know anyone that needs to raise funds or do you know anyone that gets married? And if they say no to that, that's fine as well. And then I like to end it on a positive note. So if they say no to all three, which does happen, um, then I like to end it with, would you like to have a recipe card to take home? Okay. And all it is, is like these, I think they come in a set of 40 for like a dollar or 75 cents. And I just put my business card on there. 
And that way it just kind of ends on a positive note. And this is basically the show outline I do. So for anyone who has been to my shows or seen a lot of my shows, um, you probably noticed that that's, those are exactly some of the things that I do. So um, I know this was kind of fast, but you know these are available. I just posted them and you can print them and you can even go in there and edit them to your words. It does give you sample words right on the back. So if you're totally uncomfortable and you might not know what to say, you can definitely read them. There's nothing wrong with that. Um, okay, so for a couple minutes, I would like to open it up for questions. If anyone has any questions about that whole show process. I do. Okay, Joy. So I've actually had some incidences where, like, we didn't get to do checkout. Like, people had to rush out. They had to pick kids up from somewhere. They had to... Um, and of course I panicked and they all did order later. Um, but I definitely missed, I can see where I missed the opportunity to, um, to have that one-on-one -on -one time with them in that one-on-one -on -one conversation. But I'm just curious, have you ever had those situations where you didn't actually get to do the checkout? Yes, I definitely, I've definitely had my share of those as well, you know, especially if it's like with a lot of kids or it's just crazy. So what you can do is though the next day or within 48 hours, you can follow up with a phone call and just be like, hey, thank you so much. I just wanted to thank you for your order. And I know we didn't get a time to just kind of chat and then go over the same three things. Okay. All right. Anyone else? I had a question about the business cards. Yes. Do you, do you have to order those from Pampered Chef or can I print them off myself? Is there like, I figure there's some kind of copyright. Correct. So we can use the Pampered Chef logo on anything like, like Vista print or something like that, but you could make a business card that just says like Pampered Chef kitchen consultant or um, kitchen consultant or something like, a, like there's ways around it, but we do have a logo store that, does it all for you as well okay thank you you're welcome any other questions about the show or anything can i just say something about that even for the recipe cards though you can just print up a label and put that on the recipe card because that's what i do correct i've done that i, I actually don't even yeah i don't even have business cards because I know my information is going to change, so I didn't want to get business cards. So, um, so I actually hand out a catalog or recipe cards with um, with my information on a sticker. So, if you like, like for new consultants, I I really want to see you guys make money before you start spending money. You know, so wait on the business cards until you have a couple of shows under your belt and you actually have earned your money back for your kit and you've made a profit. Correct, definitely. I always, I always say that, you know, make money before you spend more money first. Um, everything that comes in your new consultant kit is plenty to start your business. Um, okay, so we are going to talk about all the specials that are available for you as consultants, for our guests, um, and for our hosts in September. So, Troy, take the stage. Claudia, it looked like Tracy had a question before we oh, move on. Oh, sorry, great. Yeah, I do. I'm sorry. Um, I was just wondering, what's the easiest show to start out with? Is like the easiest cooking show? Is it something that we know, or just something that we practice? Or um, I mean, the easiest show, the show outline should still kind of be the same as this. And like I said, you oh. can take. Oh, are you talking about recipe? Recipe. Okay, so yeah. recipe. You can if you go under your um, new consultant resource center. It says specific new consultant recipes. And these are designed to um, provide you with recipes that use stuff that you have in your kit. So, you know, it's not going to use a rock crock. It's not going to use a deep cover baker. But, like, I know you have the deep cover baker, so we can talk about, like, my popular barbecue chicken sliders that I've been doing for years. Um, but also, like, new consultant recipe, the, the chicken artichoke flatbread or the chipotle chicken nacho dip is amazing. And I incorporate chicken into everything because I'm either going to microwave it in the rock rock or microwave it in the deep cover baker to sell that. But don't worry about that if you don't have it. If you have your bar pan, you can do it in the oven, and then 
the, your kickoff party is going to be your first show. So I do highly suggest to get a rock rock or deep covered baker right away with your first show. Okay. Thanks. Charlie, did you want to add anything? Oh, I was just going to say that the, the barbecue chicken sandwiches are like a no brainer and they're the easiest thing you'll ever do. And you don't have to think about it. And if you have those key pieces of equipment, you can even cook your chicken in the bar pan. It's so easy. Um, and one of the new consultant recipes actually is there's a Greek chicken pizza. And the Greek chicken pizza is the one that I used, I think, for my first month. Um, and that's is my recipe for the month. I picked one recipe, and that's what I stuck with. And I, by the end of the month, I could do it blinded. I could. I made it for my family two times before I did my first show, and it's a really easy one, and everyone loves it. You use your manual food processor. You make a topping for it. It has feta, parsley. Everyone loves it, and so there's a couple of them that definitely to check out the new consultant recipes. Um, there's a whole different thing that just uses your kit. And I do want to add that um, I do highly recommend doing the same recipe like for your first four to six shows. So the more familiar you get with the recipe, the less you're like freaking out over the recipe and the more you can concentrate on perfecting or, you know, making your whole show experience better. And I can attest to that because I didn't listen to that advice in the beginning <laughs> and I tried to do something else and um, at, at, I think it was like my third show and it took way too long. I did too, I was trying to do too many recipes at the same thing. I lost people's attention. Um, it, so I really recommend sticking to that. Like that's why right now we're doing the barbecue chicken dinners at yours because it's a great recipe for you to get familiar with and for you to be comfortable with. And it's easy the ones you learn the easy one. The other one, the breakfast casserole in the, uh, the 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 hash brown casserole in the large bar pan for a brunch is another super easy one. Um, that utilize what you already have. Um, so if you're gonna do like a brunch time one, a lunch time one, um, yeah, pick like just two super easy recipes because it's it's easy to trip up and get uncomfortable when you're trying to change things up. Does that make sense? I, I also will throw in the barbecue slider things. If you're in Texas, plug the hole. This is great for tailgating. <laughs> they really work for anything. Like Troy was saying, you know, lunch, breakfast, cooking with, I'm doing it on Thursday for cooking with kids class. Like it really works for anything you want it to do. Um, okay, awesome. Any other questions for now? Okay, then Troy is going to tell us about our September specials. Okay, so for this month, um, it's, it's kind of neat that the company offers us um, promotions just for doing shows, especially when we want to be doing shows anyway. So it's like an added bonus. So this month, when we submit $750 in sales, we get a tablecloth with the new logo. Guys, I purchased the last tablecloth, and that was a $60 tablecloth. So we're getting the tablecloth for free just by, um, just by submitting um, $750 worth of shows. And that's easily um, one to two shows. There we go. Claudia's got, Claudia's got the picture. Um, the other thing is um, when we recruit this month, um, there's another promotion um, for us as recruiters. We have a contemporary classics baker set, which is a beautiful red, white, and blue stoneware set. It's, um, it's really popular, especially in military communities, um, but it's, it's, it's popular everywhere, but the whole red, white, and blue thing, you know, kind of goes, uh, goes over really on the military phase. Um, and we can get that for free when we recruit two people this month. And they have 30 days to qualify with $1,250 in sales. So again, we're talking about three to four shows, um, you know, in their first 30 days to be able to qualify for this for free. The other thing is for, for new team members. So Amy, for you and, and, um, Brenna, you guys being in your first 90 days, you get super extra incentives on top of these for recruiting 
in your first 90 days. So, um, so you will also get extra, uh, an extra hundred dollars in, in pampered chef dollars. Um, when you, when you do a, when you do sale for each $1,250 of sales that you do get an extra hundred dollars in pampered chef dollars that you get to spend on anything you want. You can spend it on supplies. You can spend it on product. Um, and what, when you, if you decide you want to fast track to director, I know you guys are both interested in that. There's actually a program um, our team is offering for you to, to help give you tools to be able to do that. Um, and you can earn an extra $500 if you recruit, if you promote in your first 90 days to director. So, so those are some of the, um, the team incentives we have. Our hosts this month, now it is, so there's our stoneware special and it's for hosts and for, and for uh, guests. And I used to always host during stoneware promotions because I was trying to build my stoneware connect collection. Um, the host can get 60% off a choice of one of 25 pieces of stoneware. Um, and that, that's a great incentive for, for people who are trying to build stoneware. Um, especially, uh, I'd say especially here in Korea, as so many people have put a lot of their stuff in storage. Guest special uh, is they get to choose one of 10 stoneware pieces at special prices. And those are about 20% off. Some of them are a little bit higher than 20%. Some of them are a little bit lower. Um, but the neat thing about that too, is that the host will get 50, she can choose one of those hosts, those uh, 10 stoneware pieces and get 50 off the price. And when a host exhausts, uses up all of her benefits, on top of that, she gets between 20 and 30% off anything else she wants. She'll get between 20 and 30% off, off the sale price of, of that stoneware. Um, so for anyone that you know that's interested in stoneware, that wants to add stoneware to their collection, that wants to try out stoneware, September is an awesome month for them to be involved with Pampered Chef. I'm sorry. Can I ask a quick question? Yeah. I had to run get a coin out of my son's mouth. Can you tell me what the guests get again? I missed that one little blurb of what the guests get. It's time for the guests get a choice of one of 10 stoneware items um, at special prices. They're roughly 20% off. Some of them are a little bit more, some of them are a little bit less. But the nice thing about those prices is that the host also gets to use her benefits based on the sale price of those items. So for instance, if she's taking advantage using one of her, let's say three or four half price items, she gets half price of the sale price. Right. And as a host also get between 20 and 30% off, off anything above and beyond that, the host uh, also gets to get 20 to 30% off the sale price of those 10 items. Thank you. <laughs> okay, thank you, Troy. Um, so a lot of you are new um, and you know, you might want, you might think about why do people like stonewares and how can I sell stoneware to people? Like what are some of the benefits? Um, so Lori is going to share with us some tips and tricks about stoneware. There we go. I was having a problem in muting myself. Um, Stoneware is absolutely wonderful. You don't have to worry about um, burning. You don't have to worry about turning over. It heats evenly from the, the bottom to the sides. Um, it's absolutely amazing. A lot of people have a round stone, and it's called the round stone, not the pizza stone. I make that mistake all the time calling it a pizza stone because people use it for cookies, biscuits, french fries, fish sticks, um, you know, Metal heats from the bottom up, whereas our stoneware heats, you know, all over at the same time. Um, so no more burnt biscuits, no more flipping French fries or turning over chicken nuggets. Um, and you can use our stoneware in the microwave and the oven. Um, it is hand wash only with hot water, so no soap. <laughs> um, so you just have to be careful with that. 
Um, we've got our bar pan where you can do a whole pound of bacon and cook it in the oven. You can do pancakes at 400 degrees for 10 minutes, um, and that's amazing. Once again, uh, fish sticks, french fries, chicken tenders, 12 pork chops. Um, we've got our microwave egg cooker, something my husband uses every single morning um, to make himself breakfast. You can do poached, scrambled, fried. You can do four at a time. Um, it doesn't smell up the kitchen, which is really nice. You can do um, pancakes and apple crisp, mac and cheese, little mini cakes. Um, it's definitely not just for eggs. And then we have one of my favorites, which is the small ridge baker. Um, you can do bacon in the microwave in five minutes, and it's so crispy. It's absolutely amazing. Um, and then all the grease goes to the bottom, so you don't have it all over your um, all over your bacon. So you know, have a few less calories anyways. Um, you can do roasted potatoes, chicken, or fish in it. Um, and then we've got our deep covered baker, which is our magic pot. You can do anything and everything in that. 14-minute um, chicken breast, 30-minute whole chicken, 20-minute meatloaf, 20-minute ribs, 25-minute cube steak and rice, um, and 10-minute molten lava cake, um, which the worst thing about that is you can do it every 10 minutes. Um, we've also got our whole new line, the contemporary red, red, white, and blue. Um, they've got handles on it. The shallow baker is the same size as the bar pan and it's got the really nice coating on the outside so that, um, you can entertain with them. Um, and they're really nice. And like Troy was saying, uh, you know, military community, we love our red, white, and blue. Um, one of the things you don't have to preheat it. Um, you just, you know, put whatever you're putting on there and put it in the oven. But um, one thing you want to make sure to let people know is two thirds of it needs to be covered or else it creates thermal shock and it can break. There are some times where people will say, oh, it broke, it was in the oven. But you just have to make sure like about two thirds of it is covered. Um, other than that, I think that's about it for, for um, stoneware. When you say two thirds of it is covered, do you mean... Like there's food, that there's food on two thirds of it? Yes. Okay. Yeah. So you don't want to do like a potato and just have the middle done and you've got all the rest of the bar pan. It, it creates something to where it, it does, it can break the thermal shock, I think is what it's called. Anybody have any questions on stoneware? I do have one more question. <laughs> When do you choose to use um, bakeware that has sides versus bakeware that doesn't have sides? So like, because I know like I was at Charlie's house and she did um, roasted cauliflower on the, on the big, the big white, is it the white one, the large flat one that just has like low sides like the bar pan. Mm -hmm. um, and I usually do that in a nine by 13 baker and I loved hers, but I'm just wondering, how do you know, does it matter which? I think it's just a preference thing. Um, when you use what, um, I don't know. I just kind of pick one and make sure it covers it appropriately, like the two thirds. And then, you know, it can be the deep one. It can be the shallow one. Um, oh, another thing about the large bar pan is you can do two boxes of brownies in it at once. <laughs> Um, I think too, it, you know, it depends like if you have like a flat stone, like you don't want to cook bacon on that because the grease is going to drip down. So anything that has liquid or grease, you want to make sure that it's got like a bar pan, it's got that lip on the side to hold it up for sure. I don't know, Charlie, do you have anything to add to that? Um, yeah, actually I do. I was noticing um, to make sure we're in stoneware month, we also have our new product of the individual little pizza pans. And um, so that's a really, personally for me, I'm super excited about that. We had pizza night in our house and my kids each made their own pizza. And so that's a really big selling point as you go into stoneware season. We have these brand new stones that are really, really cool, you know, that really encourages families cooking together. Um, and so I know that's what one thing that I'm really, I'm really encouraging, so. Well, and those are, uh, those are one of the ones that hosts can get a discount on, but is not, is not discounted for guests this month. Correct. For the guests, it's, it's 10 products that are listed under the guest special. Okay. Any other stoneware questions? 
if you've never used Stoneware and you're a new consultant, I highly encourage you to just use that power pen that comes in your kit. Just use it for anything you would use a metal sheet for. The more you use it, the more you can talk about your experience with it as well. Charlie, did you want to add? Um, sorry, someone messaged me just then. Um, yeah, it's actually, yeah, the more you use Stoneware, you just talk about the main things that I really emphasize are like, um, I love that when I make a, 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 a pie, that my crust doesn't stick anymore. Um, that when I make something with a crust, that I don't have to worry about spraying it as much. Once you have a seasoned piece of stoneware, things don't stick in there and it is the easiest thing to clean. So you wanna talk about the cleaning, how easy it is to clean afterwards and um, how easy it is to serve. That for me, most embarrassing thing for me was when I had guests over from an old uh, old um, pan and I was trying to scrape something out because everything stuck to the bottom. And since I use a stoneware, I don't have to worry about that anymore. That I confidently can cut into something in front of my guests at my house and it's going to look pretty. It's going to be a pretty piece to everybody and not just, you know, the ugly piece. The first piece is going to be nasty. So anyway, that's just for me. That's one of my big major solid points is that that's why I love stoneware. Also, if you want more training on stoneware, if you just go on Consultants Corner and just search stoneware and then go under videos or resources, there's always training for every single product that we have as well. Um, okay, so um, the last thing we want to go or I want to go over with you is some announcements that we have. Um, so next month, October 9th through 11th, we are having like a mini conference basically in Virginia and it's not too late to RSVP. I know some of you are new and some of you are even out of country. So, um, but it's going to be where Donna Landy lives, which is our senior executive director and we are so I'm in New York, we are driving from there. I know Charlie's driving from, or flying, driving, right, from Vienna. Um, and Lori is driving or flying, I don't know, from Alabama as well. Um, hopefully we have Troy that can join us from Korea. Um, so if you are not on the East Coast but want to come, definitely let me know. I do think it's a great invest investment. Any meetings, any... Um, trainings any conferences that you can go to it is definitely a huge investment i promise you will go out of there with like a whole new meaning to your pamper chef business um, so if you're interested we definitely still have hotel rooms available and we can help you with that as well and jean jonas our senior vice president of sales from pamper chef pretty much the second you know person that you think of when you think paper chef except uh, besides Doris is her she will actually be there as well so it's a pretty big event um, so let us know if you're interested or if you have any questions about that the other program that we are going to start on September 16 which is in I guess next week right yes or the following week um, is our director express program so if you are looking at your business and you know that you want even as a new consultant you know one two three four thousand dollars a month right away if you are ready to be a leader right away and have people on your team then we have a director program that starts on September 16th and the basic is you know it's, there's no requirement to get in, but I do like to say fill your calendar. If you have cooking shows, virtual shows, however many shows you can get on your calendar, we can help you with the rest to get more shows, to get the sales that you need, and to get the recruits that you need to promote your director. Just real quick, I do want to mention what it takes to be a director, because when I started, I thought that would be like, you know, so far away and like crazy, but it happened in the first six months. So if you're intentional about it, Charlie promoted in her first 90 days. She's our um, only fast track director so far. So someone definitely go, go after her. But basically it's you need five team members that are active, meaning they each have to have at least $150 in sales. You personally have to have at least $750 in sales and your overall team has to have $5,000 in sales. So if you have five new consultants on your team, the sales are probably not going to be an issue. So 
the only thing that you need to think about is having shows and then having your recruitment. So if you're interested in the program, just um, message me or email me or your director and let us know that you are in um, and we can get you definitely in that program as well. And as a new consultant, again, you do have a bonus. So when you promote to director in your first 90 days, you also get a $500 cash bonus deposited into your account. So it's definitely something to look forward to. Um, and one thing I'm testing out because we do have a lot of new consultants joining us is I'm going to try and do a weekly chat just like this. Um, call it Ask Claudia, whatever you want. Call it Ask Your New Consultant Questions. Um, and the first one is going to be this Thursday, the, um, September 10th at 10 a.m. Eastern Time. I will post a link and I will basically there will be no outline or anything. I will basically just be available to answer any questions that you might have as a brand new consultant. And please don't feel like you're bugging me or your director when you ask questions as a new consultant. We want you to ask questions. If you are not asking questions, we would be worried. So please ask any question that you have. Um, so that will start, I'm going to try and do it weekly or bi-weekly where I can just pop in online and you can ask me whatever you want. Yeah. So, um, okay, so this is it for the formal part of this meeting. So I would like to um, open it up for any questions that you guys might have. So any questions or input? I have a question about the uh, fast track to director. Okay. You said um, it starts the 16th? Correct. So it starts the 16th and it's um, a weekly calls. Sorry, I forgot to mention that. The weekly calls happening every Wednesday. I believe it's 9 p.m. Eastern time, 8 or 9 p.m. Eastern times. And they're just weekly calls where you dial in and then you get a homework assignment and you complete that and then you get the next week's call number. Okay. All right, and it's it's a phone number you have to call? Um, it's either going to be a phone number that you call, like a conference call, or it's going to be like a meeting, like Zoom, like we did tonight. Okay. Yeah, I don't have a way to call the states other than if it's the toll-free number, so that's why I'm asking. Okay, okay. And if there is no, like if it's a call, then there'll always be like a link posted so you can like virtually listen to it after okay. it actually took place. So, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Any other questions? Okay, well, if there are no other questions, um, I want to thank you all for coming and just keep an eye out for the next meeting, which will be sometime, you know, the first week of October, exactly like this today. Um, but go ahead, fill your fall calendar. It's it's like a new year with Paper Chef. September 1st through December is our highest selling season with fall holidays, entertaining, Christmas gifts, new products. So let us know what your goals are so we can, you know, push you in the right directions and help you achieve whatever it is that you're going for with your Paper Chef business. All right, everyone. Have a good night. Bye. Can I ask you two to hang out for just a minute? Yes. Yeah.